Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you a simple way to test your SMTP mail server. Now, basically if you've got mail problems and you can't send or receive mail, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you some simple ways of testing your mail server to make sure it's not related to your mail server and it's related to your computer, maybe settings or something of that nature. Okay, so there's numerous different ways of doing this. You can actually use Telnet, you can use software, you can use web pages, you can log into your actual website that's got your, uh, uh, you know, if it was with Virgin Media, you can log into the web page and test a, send a test uh, email that way. There's loads of different ways, but I'm going to show you uh, the software way. But there's, let's have a look at some of the websites that are out there nowadays. So you can test your SMTP mail server from here as well. Okay, we're not going to use this one, but I'm just going to show you some of the others that we've got. This is another one I found that will actually do about 29 different tests on your server and security and tells you uh, if there's problems with it. It's quite a good little tool. And let's have a little look at the last one. This is another one I come across, and actually it's got uh, MX lookup, uh, backlist, and diagnostics. Okay, and you just need to put stuff in there. Right, so they're the actual. Um, sites that actually uh, test your mail server. We're going to be using this piece of software now. I'm not saying this is the best software to do the job. There's loads of different types of software. This one is free and I like to make videos with free software. It's only 249k so you can actually use this piece of software. Now I've already downloaded it. This is the website here. So let's uh, give this a test. So I'm just going to quickly shut these down. And this is the software here. I'm just going to double click on this. Click run agree to the terms and conditions you can read all through that if you want to and this is the place where we need to put our email address now it says your SMTP server you need to put that in there now if you look down there it says leave blank if you don't know it so if you don't know what it is don't worry about it leave it blank I know what mine is but I'm just gonna leave it blank um, just for this video okay but if I wanted to put it in I would put it in there so let's uh, just quickly put in an email address um, I'm just going to quickly whack this one in there because this is one gets spammed to death every day. Um, so basically, I'm going to click on start. It's going to connect up now, and then do its thing. Connect to the uh, the actual host ultra, which is the the place where that website is, and let that finish. Now it may nag you for a password. In this case, it hasn't done and that's because uh, I've already used it before and I've put the password in but if you for the first time you're using it it will probably ask you for your password and your username this is where you need to put your username and your password in so it can finish off the test okay so I don't want to send a, a diagnostic test to uh, to this company I just want to send it to myself okay so just leave that as it is and then click continue and that will now send me a full-blown email with all the um, with all the details there okay of what's gone on what it's done it sent an email received an email and so on to let me know that that's it's all fine and if there was problems it will tell you there's a problem okay and now you know whether it's whether the troubleshoot on the actual server base whether to ring up the company and say look my email server's not working I can't get emails or whether you can then start to troubleshoot your computer okay Let's have a quick test of uh, one of these uh, pieces of software on the internet here, or one of these scripts, I should imagine they are. So let's uh, have a look. I'm just going to stick in this server5hostultra.com. This is the actual server it's on. I'm going to give that a test. And this will run some tests, as you can see, 28 tests, OK? And I'm not going to go through these, but there you go. That's basically testing, OK? So that's how they work. And I hope this video has been some use to you. That's a simple way to test your mail server to make sure it's up and running if you're having problems sending and receiving email. Okay, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, please remember hit the subscribe button, show your support. And uh, if you haven't joined my forums, by all means, pop over to the forum, become a member. And if you've got any problems over there, that's the place to post them, not by sending me personal messages, okay, because it probably won't get answered. Okay, guys, thanks again. Bye for now.